Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle and I wanted to do an update video on my facial hair and my excess body hair. This is a video that I did, oh gosh, I want to say it's been like two years since I did the initial video, but I have seen some improvement with my skin and I have a couple of things that I want to come and share with you guys in hopes to hopefully help you guys if you guys are dealing with the same issues. So just in case you're kind of just dropping by my channel, if you're not one of my subscribers, I do get excess body hair. Um, I get hair on my face, like on my jawline and on my neck I do get some a little bit like on my um, collarbone it's not a lot it's just kind of like here and there but mostly it's always been like in this area and in this area this is something that potentially does run in my family on my father's side of the family but I don't have anyone to talk to about it with I don't have anyone to help me with dermatologists don't always seem to know what to do with it and it's something that I've struggled with since I was a teenager and it's been really annoying to deal with and also really embarrassing so what I started doing and I'm going to link the first two videos I've already done because I don't want to talk about all the stuff I already talked about so please watch those videos first and maybe you can even pause this video and go back and watch those first two videos to give you more context. So since my last video, my biggest concern has been to lighten up the dark spots that I've gotten on my skin from shaving and from pulling my hair out with the tweezers incorrectly. And that's been my number one concern. Obviously, the second concern is just to lessen the amount of hair that's growing just so that I'm not constantly dealing with it. So since then, I can confidently and happily say that the dark spots have lessened and the hair also has lessened. I'm going to talk you through my routine, what I do, and show you the products that I use. Now, just so you know, these products, some of them are pricey. And it's not to say that you need to use any of these things. These are things that I found... I experimented with, they worked, and I'm sharing. So when I get hair on my face or on my neck, the first thing that I do is I take my scissors, not regular scissors, but the little tiny sharp scissors used for cutting nails. I found some amazing, amazing, super, super, super sharp tiny scissors from Sephora. In the section that have the tweezers and all those other things, there are some nail scissors there. They were fantastic. Unfortunately, TSA threw them away recently when I traveled and I don't have them. But those were the best scissors I've ever used to cut the hair. Because in the morning, if I wake up in the morning and I'm doing my makeup and I see hair, I don't pull it off of my face. I don't pull any hair off of my face with tweezers because my hair is so like tough, rough. <laughs> and the tweezers, I just don't, it's very painful. So I do not use the tweezers on my face. I use the tweezers on my neck area. That's the only area I use the tweezers. However, after I do that, I do also use a razor. So I do shave. Sometimes I will shave on my neck. If I'm in a rush, I'm shaving. I'm not going to plug it out with tweezers because I don't have the time. Obviously, if you use tweezers, then the hair is going to take a lot longer to grow back. But if you have a lot of hair, then if you're not plucking it every single day, they're growing at different rates anyway. So in those cases, I do use a razor. Now, I was using coconut oil to shave the hair, and that worked fine. It worked fine. But then I found this shaving cream that changed my entire life. It got such a close shave. I've never used anything, and I've used... I've used on the market shaving creams like my entire life but I stopped using them because I felt like it was extra money that I was spending that I really didn't need. I felt like I could use soap and other things and it was okay but this shaving cream is actually a serum and it's from Aesop and it's called the Moroccan Neroli Shaving Serum. It has sandalwood, it has neroli blossom and pathanol in it and it's like a low foaming slip shaving serum. It says it's enhanced with anti-inflammatory and hydrating aloe vera, sandalwood, and neroli blossom. And you're just supposed to apply it to your skin. It kind of has this like lather. Now, when you go on the website or if you go into the store, they have like this whole system where you put it in a bowl and you kind of mix it up and it turns into a foam and you put it on your skin because it's actually for men, you know. But that's not how I use it. I just use one pump, only one pump, and I pour it into my hand and I just rub it on my neck area. And I use that and I shave with that. And I get the closest, closest shave. It's like, 
I've never gotten a shave like this with any shaving cream and I would not want to spend that kind of money on a product like that if it did not work because I know it's something I'm going to always have to buy. I would rather just stick to coconut oil but when I used it and I saw the kind of closeness I got with the shave and how my skin reacted afterwards it was soothed it took longer for the hair to grow back I just fell in love and you don't need a lot and I don't use this for any other part of my body because it's expensive I don't want to use it anywhere else except the areas on my body that I get the excess hair. After I'm done shaving, this is a product that I showed you guys last time and I do not use this product right after shaving. I'll use it like in the evening. If I shave in the morning, I'll use it in the evening. If I shave in the evening, I'll use it in the morning. I don't use it right after because it does burn and that's the product I showed you guys in my last video which so many of you guys purchased, so many of you guys loved. It works. It's awesome. Not only is it awesome for getting rid of the bumps but it's also awesome for getting rid of the discoloration because it has chroma bright in it and the product is called vanish pfb with chroma bright it's formulated to reduce appearance of dark spots caused by ingrown hair razor burns and bumps resulting from shaving waxing tweezing electrolysis and laser hair removal and it is a roll-on this stuff is awesome guys i mean you guys know because most of you guys went out and bought it it's awesome if you use it daily now i am a very very lazy person when it comes to certain things i just can't be bothered so when i don't use it consistently everything comes back but when i do use it consistently i see the results and i'm going to show you a picture of me using it just for four weeks and you can see the big difference in the neck area as far as the discoloration and the bumps so it's really really good this product is wonderful but the thing about this product is when you're using it consistently your skin is going to peel so you do need to protect your skin in different ways. So you do need to constantly exfoliate your skin, whether that be your face or your neck or both. You need to exfoliate or what's going to happen is you're going to walk outside and you're going to have a whole bunch of white stuff just peeling from your skin. So you have to exfoliate almost daily, I would say at least every other day. Now I showed you guys in the last video that I had a brush and it was a random brush that I got from the place that I do my bikini waxes and I use the brush to exfoliate but it kind of cracked and it's acting kind of like weird it's it's just kind of getting a lot of gunk on the inside of it and they stopped selling it I don't even know where to buy it at you guys have asked me I don't even know where to buy it at but it doesn't matter because what I started using and it works <sighs> It works so well and I do believe that it's one of the reasons why my skin in that area because I used to actually have bumps on my face it sucked but I had bumps all right here and right here and that's because of the hair it wasn't because I was getting acne or breakouts but that's what it looked like if you looked at my skin you would think that I was having breakouts and acne but it wasn't even that it's just a whole bunch of ingrown hairs on my face so I was exfoliating with like you know regular exfoliants on my skin and rubbing it in that wasn't working so what I started doing is using this thing it's called the aura clean system and it's an orbital facial brush and cleaning station this thing is super super cool the station looks really cool just sitting in your bathroom but it's a facial brush and it comes with two different brush heads like a regular normal brush head and it comes with a deep cleaning brush head i use a deep cleaning one because i need that strength to exfoliate all the stuff on my skin and it has two speeds so it has a slower speed and it has a faster speed and it has a one minute timer so you know how long you're cleaning your face for and that it makes sure that you're cleaning all over your face the brush is waterproof so you can use it in the shower if that's where you do your cleaning you don't have to do it over the sink now I know this brush is like awesome it's super awesome for cleaning your face and but I don't care about that that wasn't never my issue was cleaning my face my issue was the bumps over here and on my neck and that baby has helped me so much because of the rotations it really does deep clean in the morning time I just get up I use a couple pumps of my cleanser and I put it all over my face and then I take the brush and I just use it all over my face to wash but I do focus on my jawbone and I do focus on my neck 
The reason why I really like it too is because I feel like I can hold it really easily. I don't know, I guess just the size of it. I just feel like I have a lot of control and I can get into the smaller areas on my face. I just love this brush. Another reason why this brush is really unique and really cool, and by the way, this was sent to me. It was sent to me from a brand, but it was sent to me for just like a regular skincare type of thing. And I honestly was not pressed. I really wasn't because I bought my mom a Clarisonic, which is very similar to this. I bought it for her last year for Mother's Day and I used it and it was okay, but I bought it for her and then she stopped using it and I was asking her why and she said because the brush head, like it seemed like the gunk would stay on the brush head even when she cleaned it, it just started getting really hard and so she stopped using it and it wasn't even time to replace it. But anyway, this system, the reason why I say system is because it comes with a cleaner. It's called a 360 Halo lamp and when you stick the brush inside it cleans out all of the germs so the pathogen is what's removing the germs out of it and it has a brush dryer in there so it's actually drying the brush and sanitizing the brush so that when you use it the next morning it's clean especially if you don't have time for that kind of stuff you don't have to manually clean all you do is stick it back on and it cleans it for you and that has been so so essential in getting all of the dead skin off of my face and ensuring that I'm not getting these razor bumps. So this system is bomb. I'm gonna have to buy my mom this one because I know she'll like this much better than the Clarisonic. The Clarisonic is expensive too. It's super expensive. This one is expensive also. I think it's a little bit less than the Clarisonic. I want to say this one's like a hundred and it's hundred and twenty dollars. But because it's so expensive I was actually able to get you guys a coupon code. If you're interested in buying this system the coupon code will give you 50% off of it so it'll be a lot more reasonable and I'll link that below if you type in my coupon code you'll get half off of the system so that's pretty much taking the place of this and if any of you guys have actually used the system let me know what you think of it after I exfoliate my skin I do put some kind of moisturizer on um, I would say and I don't know a whole whole lot about the Vanish PFB but I would say that you definitely would want to put some kind of sunscreen or some kind of sun protectant UV protectant on your skin because my skin always feels so um, sensitive after I use it when I go out into the sun and so that's probably what's most recommended am I doing that? new but that's I know that's what I should be doing but what I've actually been using on my skin it's just a product that I had laying around but it was so rich and creamy and it felt so good on my neck that this is what I use now and it's from a brand called the healing place apothecary and it's the daily greens whipped moisturizing face cream it's an antioxidant rich green tea soothing avocado and balancing rose hip formula and it also has matcha powder in it like the matcha from the green tea it does smell exactly like green tea and I love it for my neck it just soothes it it moisturizes it and it preps it for when I put makeup on now is it like a magical product or anything no it's not but I love it I just love it on my skin so that's what I've been using to kind of soothe my skin after the fact so like I said, I'm still plucking, I'm using the super sharp scissors, I'm also using the razor, but I'm using all of these other products and I've seen an incredible difference in my skin, on my face and on my neck. I cannot tell you how annoying it is to have to do all this stuff. It's so annoying because I feel like, man, other people are so lucky, they don't have these issues, they don't have to do all this, like it's extra money, it's extra work. But at the same time, I'm really grateful that I've at least found things that work. So I don't feel embarrassed. I can lift up my neck. I can do whatever I want without feeling like, oh, like, ew. like people are doing that, you know. And so if you watch my other videos, you'll understand why I'm saying that. Now, the very last thing that I want to mention is a tea that I've been drinking that has helped me immensely with the amount of hair that's actually growing. When I changed my lifestyle as far as what I was eating, I started drinking my green smoothies and I started exercising more, losing weight. I definitely noticed a huge improvement in my skin period, okay? Because when you eat good, when you're putting good stuff into your body, then it's gonna show on your face. If you're eating a whole bunch of junk food and that kind of stuff, it just messes up everything. So I have totally changed my diet and my lifestyle. However, as far as the hair growing fast, the tea that I've been drinking is a spearmint tea and it's a loose leaf tea. The reason why I like loose leaf is because it's a lot more potent, it's a lot more strong and you just use like a little tea holder and I used to be kind of like nervous about loose tea, I don't know, I just 
yeah, I just wasn't comfortable making loose tea because I really didn't know how to do it. But it's really easy and it actually tastes a lot better. You just put a little bit into the tea strainer and you just put it in the water and then it makes the tea. And I've been drinking that every day and I'm telling you, when you drink it every day, you will notice a decrease in the facial hair. Now I know a lot of people struggle with PCOS and that stands for pelvic cystic ovarian syndrome and a lot of people do have that which is what contributes or what causes the excess facial and body hair. Um, I've talked with my doctor about that and I don't have that, but I do obviously have excess testosterone or whatever it is that's causing me to have this, but people who do have PCOS, a lot of them do drink the spearmint tea and it does help the hair to go down. Like you will notice if you're drinking it every day, especially if it's loose leaf. I can't comment on if it's not loose leaf because I've never done that. But you will notice a decrease in the amount of hair that you're getting and how often you're gonna have to be shaving or how often you're plucking or cutting or whatever it is that you're doing. So yeah guys, I didn't plan on making a really long video but it kinda ended up being long. But I hope that it was helpful and just giving you guys the tools just to experiment with. I know this is a really touchy subject. I know a lot of people don't talk much about it but I do wanna help you guys because I wish that someone would've helped me. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my YouTube family and for all of your support. And I also really thank you guys for also being brave enough to share some of your stories and some of the things that you do and what helps you on my other videos. There's a lot of content, a lot of comments and feedback. And even me reading it, I was like, this is really nice to know that I'm not the only one who struggles with this. So if you are struggling with it and you really haven't come across a video like this, make sure you go back and watch those other videos and read some of the comments just to help you feel more of a sense of community and just to get more resources on other things that you can do in addition to the things that I talked about in this video. So I will put all the links to everything below. You can check it out. Big kisses to you all. I love you guys so much and I thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and light.